again. Thanks for watching. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. My name is Joseph Catrona. Today's topic is how to undo user-defined references. By way of necessity, we'll talk a little bit about how to create user-defined references, but I think there's lots of content out there for that. So we're going to focus on how to remove one once they're created. So let's say we have a project folder with a couple of CAD files and two non-CAD files. And for whatever reason, it would be nice to associate these non-CAD files to the CAD files in this case, but really any file to any file is possible in Enterprise PDM. So to create a user-defined reference, let's say that we want to show the drawing as a child of this ECO. So I can right-click on any file and say copy, and then right-click on any other file, assuming it is checked out. I can right-click on it and paste as reference. So you can see in the confirmation dialog that the drawing is going to become a child of the ECO document. I'll say OK to this dialog and then double check the Contains tab for this ECO document. Contains shows me children and it's a bit confusing that I don't see the child here as I just created it. So a little further thought lets me know that I haven't checked in these changes yet. So once I check those in, then the child reference is in fact added and can be viewed on the Contains tab for that ECO document. Now this works the same way from CAD files to non-CAD files. Let's say that this brochure image copy is a child of the model. I'll check it out first and then paste as reference onto the model. Check that file in, confirm, and now we have a brochure or marketing image as a child of the 3D model. So that's certainly handy functionality, but what about how to remove it? Maybe this was the wrong brochure image that was added to this footpad. So if the footpad is checked out, I can choose this Edit User Defined References button or Custom References, View or Edit. So as long as, again, that file is checked out, I can remove the reference here. Another option that's available to me in this dialog is to say, well, it is a reference, but I don't necessarily want it showed in the bill of materials. Or maybe it is a reference and it actually needs to have five of those. For example, if it's some kind of assembly manual, perhaps, that we wanted to throw in two copies of. In my case, I'll just remove this, say OK, and then check that back in. As you can see, the Contains tab is updated, and then reference no longer exists. Same thing for the ECO document. This drawing actually was a mis uh, does not belong to this ECO. It's, this was a mistake, perhaps. So I can check the user-defined references, and notice that that's grayed out. I can't deselect that. So that's a bit of confusion sometimes for new users, that it must be checked out first. Once it is checked out, that same button will give me access to remove the reference. Checking it in finalizes the removal of that reference. I hope this is helpful. Feel free to leave us a comment if you liked this video, if you landed here because this was exactly the question you had. And also feel free to leave us a comment on what videos would be helpful in the future. Thanks for watching.